I bought these for I think six dollars and fifty cents per booster box, not per pack, per booster box. So I believe these are cases of ten or twelve. I mean they're dirt cheap. I mean I really and then the expansion, of course. Um, they did even make a Christmas Town, which is a Nightmare Before Christmas expansion again by NECA trading card game. Um, hopefully these the clarity in the camera work is actually decent for you guys. I'm not really too sure. Uh, but they did. They even made it an expansion set, and it even says on there expansion set. Um, I believe it's the same 36 booster packs with 12 cards per pack. Um, unfortunately, I do not want to open these. I, I was I was thinking about it, but at the end of the day, I can't open these obscure sets. I know a lot of you all want to see the cards, but if I open them, I lose. I just the the seven the, my six dollar investment goes to zero because there's just no money in the single cards. There's no secondary market. So the only value of even holding these things is keeping it sealed. Unfortunately, you know, because I really wanted to open like one of each of these and show you guys, but I didn't think a lot of people would be interested in that many obscure TCGs. In addition to that, I'd be stuck with a bunch of single cards that literally have zero value. So, um, because he's kidnapped. You know, I mean, I think it's cool. So the fact they actually made an expansion set for the Nightmare Before Christmas TCG, that alone, I, I kind of caught my attention. I'm very surprised they even made an expansion set. I didn't really see that coming. I didn't think they really would. But again, I bought these things. I think I paid six fifty a booster box. You know, I bought a case of each. So I got a case of the original set. And I think the whole case was maybe sixty or no, seventy dollars maybe for a case of ten or twelve booster boxes of thirty six packs per box. I mean we're talking to me it's pennies on the dollar. I mean you're literally what is that like a quarter or fifty cents a pack quarter I, it's just whatever. Um, other thing you'll see at the bottom here, um, I just think this is kind of something a little bit different. Um, I used to be a fan of this. Um, see how many people even know what this is before I stuff. Um, I used to be a fan of this. Uh, anybody, I'm sure most of you all know, anybody who remembers this stuff. So again, um, $6, $6.50, I think, or $6.75 a booster box. Wow, these boxes are really good quality. It's like a hard... <laughs> it's, a, it's a really good quality box. Oh, I just gave it away. So, again, now this one is a little bit different. So, uh, you can see the name. I think you guys can see it. Legendary. Okay, you get the idea. So anyways, um, this is another TCG that actually held up and actually got off the ground and was quite popular for a small period of time. I mean, don't get me wrong, Nightmare Before Christmas TCG. The expansion was cool, but it never got off the ground. You guys know that. Um, these did. This is the expansion, Seeds of Decay. Obviously, I'm sure you guys have figured it out by now. You can see the name of it. Give you a hint. Legend. Rings. Five. Okay. So this was an expansion set called Seeds of Decay. Again, I believe it's uh, 36 boosters. Same thing. 10 to 12 uh, cards per booster. Um, they don't really give you a lot. Or I apologize. 48 packs of 11 cards really heavy booster box and it's a really good quality it's like a thick cardboard it doesn't have a feel but like a thin booster box so anyways uh this was actually a popular thing there was a secondary market for this type of card game um for quite a long time actually i don't really know why it's all the first i don't know a lot of history i'm hoping maybe a few of you guys um can maybe inform me maybe why this tcg did well for quite a while and then it kind of just collapsed on itself and I know, I know I'm being kind of soon, but it kind of reminds me of the direction Force of Will's taken, which is very painful for me to say, because I flipping love that crap. So, same thing. I bought a whole case of these booster boxes. I paid, I think it was $6.50 a booster box, maybe $6.75. They were below $7 a booster box, same thing. Uh, shipped, and again, I bought a case of them. So, um, I really don't have any major plans. Form. I'm not gonna lie, this isn't something that I'm like, oh, in 50 years there's gonna be a thousand dollars in booster. You know, goo with the eggs. You know, I, I'm not gonna be the evil dude on the couch, not in this video. But I, I just don't see a lot going on. But it's just one of those things where sometimes I just like to take a little bit of money because it's not tens of thousands of dollars. You can literally order this whole case of all these boxes and it's like barely over a hundred bucks for everything. So I think it's cool. It's something I wanted to show you guys. And I'm going to move to the next box over here, but that's something I just, I don't know. If any of you guys are really long-term, you have the space to do stuff, and you are really, really interested in different TCGs, there's a lot of dead TCGs out there. 
similar to the World of Warcraft and the Kaijudos, but, you know, besides mainstream, there's a lot of weird small ones that people don't really know about. So I want to I wanna shift over. We're going to swim over here. That was my swim. Okay, so, again, a few more Nightmare Before Christmases. We're going to move these off to the side so you guys can actually see here a little bit better. If you want to, you know, be able to know what we're doing. All right, so some of you all may be more familiar, especially with the resurgence again of more Star Wars movies and culture and everything. They did make a Clone Wars TCG. Um, I kind of liked it. I'm very surprised it fell on its face that quickly. But then again, look who made it. I mean, come on, look who made that. Are you really that surprised? I swear it top screws everything up. Um, oh, they got little Topps logos in the wrapper. I never noticed that. So, Topps made this. They printed it into oblivion. They crushed it. There was no secondary market. And I think the fact that there was no secondary market immediately killed the game. I don't think it ever got off the ground. Because I remember seeing some people play this. I remember testing it out a long, long time ago. Um, each box, again, only seven cards per pack. They did have a code. See at the bottom there? One code card per pack. And 24 boosters for it. So you're looking at a whopping maybe around just under 170, 175 cards per booster box. Um, and again, this was made by Top, which is not exactly known to make TCG very successful. It's not exactly their specialty. So, but nonetheless, I mean... You know, again, it's just, it's another forgotten story. This one's more cheesy on the artwork. It's not more serious, like magic or very dramatic, like, you know, vampire or anything, the other old TCG. But this one is not a very, you know, this is more of a cartoony feel, as some people say, maybe more anime feel. It is different. Um, they did have the booster boxes, and they also had starter kits. Um, yeah, I don't really have a whole lot to say. Um, I, again, same thing. I bought each entire starter box, which had eight big old starter boxes in it. Um, again, paid around $7 for a full box. Paid around $7 per booster box. So, you know, $7 for 24 packs. I mean, I don't really care. So I got a case of each, just like the other stuff I was telling you guys about. Um, I, again, I wanted to do some opening. I had planned on trying to maybe do openings on different type of stuff, but I decided to back off on it because I was like, dude, I'm going to get hosed and stuck with piles of single cards of dead TCG. And when you convert from sealed to single on any of these products, it doesn't matter which one you go with, if you convert any of this stuff, your, your money's gone. That's it. At least my whopping $7 investment in each one of these is still intact as long as they remain factory sealed. Once we break these and do a box opening and show it on the channel, number one, I didn't really want to fill the channel with fluff like that. And two, there's no secondary market. There's a sealed market for people like me and many other stores and people that buy clearance products and fire sold products. And But when you convert it to secondary, forget it. Every card in these boosters, except maybe what? One specialty card or unless you get some rare inserts or something. You know, I don't think it's lottery cards or anything like that. But I don't even think there's a chase set to refract it. I don't know anything. The point is, besides that, there is no value in these single cards because there is zero secondary market. And because there's no secondary market, there's nothing you can do. Alright, I've been rambling. Wow, I've been rambling for quite a while. Last box, final thing. Um, okay. Alright. So, I was supposed to pay like $100 for this, in for this entire shipment. This was sent from a very, very good friend of mine. And he wouldn't let me pay him and he requested his name not to use in the video. So the point is, um, I guess this is the last of what we had. So I have all these. Uh, I know, right? I'm going to be super rich. I mean, even the face on these booster boxes is... You know what that says right there? I'm really sorry. Seriously. I did not mean to do that with him. I'm very sorry. That's, that's, what she's, that's exactly what these boxes say. So we've got a ton of these things. Now, let me move these other way so you guys can actually see decent product. So, I didn't pay anything for this crap. It's really not worth anything. So, Millennia of Ages, you know what it is. I'm not even going to go into it in this video. There's not really anything to discuss. But, we did get some more random stuff. Um, <laughs> these four school these water decks. Um, we got a four school water deck. And hopefully some of my four school fans are still around somewhere. I mean, I do. Still things are really cool. I just wish they had financial value. God, I love this. Um, we got a Force of Will. 
Another, that's a light deck, a water deck. I think it's another light deck, right? Yeah. Um, and then we've got what we like to call the mystery box. Now remember, you guys don't know what's in this box. This is a mystery box. It could be anything. The mystery box could even be a boat underneath there. So it's either going to be Force of Will cards or there could be a boat. Remember that. Whenever you deal with mystery boxes, we don't know what it's going to be. So um, we did actually get a, um, what is this, Twilight? What is, which set is it? I can't see. Um, it is English, right? Yeah, English in the top left. Alright, yeah, seven came. Okay. So, a little bit of an older set. Um, what are we looking at here? Same thing? Yeah, seven kings. So, we got a couple of newer boxes, seven kings. Um, was, I believe this is Moonlight Savior. I recognize the rap. Yeah, Moonlight Savior. What else we got? Uh, um, this one looks like it was thrown around a little bit. Um, Twilight Wanderer. It's like, man, some of these really, it's a little difficult to tell the way to do that wrapping. And, of course, the second edition of the Vin Golf set. So, I'm not sure how familiar everybody is with the Vin Golf series, but... So, when Force Will did the first Vin Golf series... Oops, sorry about the reflection. So, when Force Will did the first Vin Golf series, it did extremely well, recapping the first block from custom specialty cards. It was a huge hit. When the Force Will did the second Vin Golf series, the box of dinner, as you can see. Um, good quality. It's nice thick. It's got a nice feel to it. But, uh, by the way, the box doesn't have a boat in it. It's just that. So, it bombed. These are supposed to be wholesale from distributors around $28 a bin golf. They're supposed to retail for around $40. These did so bad. One of my distributors has hundreds. I mean, I think he has at least 500. I, I, it's probably multiple pallets. It's just such a bad, sore. Oh, man. It's just such a sore topic. It's really, really bad. So, this is the first time I've actually held the second Vin Golf because I actually canceled. I refused to take my order from the second Vin Golf set because it did so bad. It just came flat. I don't know what these are on eBay now. Maybe 20 bucks to get that. And it just, again, I don't think, I don't know. You guys can give me your opinion on why you think it is, but I don't have a good, clear answer. I actually don't know the Vin Golf number two box. I'm not familiar because I canceled my order. It's the first time I've ever held one of these. So now it looks like I have two of them. And again, like I said, I'm not familiar with the second one. The only thing I know is it completely collapsed upon launch. It was an utter nightmare for the distribution level. The stores and anybody who actually got them got slammed. I mean, I saw those people in pound town in my account. They're still out there. So, yeah. Alright, we're going back to the mystery box down here. Let me move it forward so you guys can see a little better. Oh, God. That's what she said. Alright, sorry. There is, there's crap everywhere. There's Oh, I can't show you that. This is a, that's January Patreon. So, anyways, um, I think we're going back here. These are the older ones. I remember this. I believe this is what Seven Kings. Is there a name on that? Yep, Seven Kings. English too, right? So again, a little rough, but so we got a Seven Kings booster box. I believe this is another Seven Kings booster box. Um, yeah, and, no, this one's actually not smashed. Um, again, there was a time when all these boxes, especially the Seven Kings and these new ones, these were solid eight dollar boxes. Now, forget it. Hey, we got, what is this, fire? Fire deck? That's kind of cool. So, we got a fire deck. Um, again, I like it. I think it's a really cool package. I like that design. I think it's kind of cool. So, alright, I hate to break it to you, but I apologize. The mystery box is Force of Will Boosters. I think he just dumped everything from his store in the box. And, okay, organized it. Good flipping lore. Are you serious right now? Is that wait? Is that new? Is that cursed? No, it's Legacy Lost. Is that the new set? Or is cursed? Huh. That's interesting. Um, I don't recognize that. That must be one of the new ones I quit on. Is that cursed? That is. Huh. So I guess whatever was left in the store, they just dumped it in a box and shipped it to me. <laughs> and I know by the time this video is live, they're gonna watch it and text me. Um, yeah, Legacy Lost, I'll be darned. Curse and Legacy. And looks like a ton of the dark ones. Are these packs of Moonlights? Yeah, these are, no, Moonlight Saviors. Um, I don't know how many packs this is. It looks like a flip. These are older ones. Who are these? Uh, was it Seven Kings? Yeah, Seven Kings again. So, <laughs> is there anything at the bottom that's different? I think these are all the same. I don't think there's anything different at the bottom. Those are the same ones? Yeah. 
All right, I guess that's it for the mystery box. There's just, I don't even know how many Force of Will booster packs that is. It's a flippin' ton. Are these, is that the same set as this? Okay, all seven kings. Okay, so that must be what was most good. These are Moonlits, right? Yeah, Moonlit. All right, um, so yeah, that would be the Force of Will. I have no idea what I'm going to do with, I don't know, what is it, 100, 300, 4, 500? What is, oh yeah. You guys really love that, don't you? You remember her. Sorry, focus. Never mind, I was supposed to be playing. So that's all I got for that. So this is Rudy with Alpha Investments. I just want to show you guys some different content and some things that you may see that's not magic related. That stores, people, distributors, individuals, people do buy and collect some other strange products that nobody really kind of talks about. It's just kind of something that people do get in and we deal with. I, I caution if you're trying to invest in any of this stuff because I don't really think there's a lot of good investing here. But I think this is something I wanted to show you guys before I get it shipped out. And before, quite frankly, I kind of pack it up and just put it away in storage because uh, I, I really don't know what else to do with it. I just thought it was kind of neat. I wanted to show you guys something different. Uh, if, you, if anybody watching the video, though, has actually made it to the end, it's probably like 15 minutes or 20 minutes. If anybody's watching this and actually knows anything unique about like Nightmare Before Christmas and the fourth set or the expansions, or uh, Five Rings, or Clone Wars, or the second Vingolf, or anything that's really weird that you'd like to add, I would really like some input. Maybe some different information on some of these different types of TCGs that I'm not super familiar with. If I don't know a lot about it, I'm going to tell you that. So, Rudy with Alpha Investments, it is almost a new year. I think it really is. By the time you watch this, it might be the new year. Uh, you guys have a great day. Tell me what you all think. And uh, happy 2017. Modern games have amazing graphics, especially on the PC, but not every computer can handle these graphics. Why is that? Well, graphics cards. Obviously, a good graphics card can go a very long way in providing us with extremely high graphic game experiences. But how? What exactly is a GPU, and how exactly is it different from a CPU? Why do we need one? Hi folks, it's Falcon, and today GameRanks asks the question, how do graphics cards work? So when new Battlefield games come out, what does everybody talk about immediately? The graphics. Of course the graphics, it's the thing you see first. No matter what, you don't get to see something else and say you've seen the game. Visually, what a game looks like matters a great deal to us. And while I like to talk about art style a lot, there's a lot of technical jargon behind